heavyweight champion, Jerry the King Lawler, dressed in his black and white with the crowns down the side of his britches and the beautiful world belt around his waist, ready for this world heavyweight title bout with Jeff Jarrett. with Jerry Lawler already in the ring. It's time for Jeff German, the challenger for this important world heavyweight title bout to arrive. And he is hugged and cheered for. A great chance for Jeff Jarrett. You know, since now the noise you're hearing is Jerry Lawler over the house microphone, I'm going to go ahead and talk over this. Since coming to the USWA, Jeff Jarrett has had an incredible one-loss record. Has come in here and just dazzled and impressed USWA fans in San Antonio, Dallas, Lawton, Oklahoma, Memphis, Tennessee, Evansville, Indianapolis, all of the great towns of the USWA, New Orleans in the area. And wait, wait a minute! Look, it's Jeff Jarrett! Where did he come from? I didn't even see him coming down the aisle. I just looked up from the monitor and it's Jeff Gaynor and it's a pile driver on Jeff Jarrett on the floor. Gaynor Akbar. Gaynor saying something. Can, I can't quite make out what he's saying. Did he say to Lawler that I want a shot at you now or did he say I just did the job for you? I didn't even see Gaylord coming. Here comes help for Jeff Jarrett. He got beat up quickly and then a pile driver on the floor. I couldn't make out what, hey, hey. what Gaylord said to Lawler. Did he say, hey, Dundee? did the job or now I want some of you? Ring if you can. He's all right. Either way, okay. Jarrett in terrible shape. Lawler running oh, his mouth hurt, saying he's... Get him up here. Stop. Okay, but he's obviously not... Ring the bell, Mark. Let's get this thing going. And Lawler making a bad situation worse with his mouth. On, Folks, boys. I apologize. I should have, I should have seen Gaylord coming, but I didn't see him ring. come down into the aisles or anything. And Jeff Jarrett in way. terrible condition. How could that hurt him? Bill Dundee here. Jimmy Jack Clark was here but left. And now John Brazell, one of the officials coming down. Bronco Lovitz and the referee. They've got a stretcher. Come and on. Evidently, Jeff Jarrett has taken a pretty bad hey, blow to the head. This is Jeff Jarrett moving down the aisle, all dressed up and looking great. Jeff, I understand that you're a bit prevented from wrestling now from the doctor due to the blow to the head, and uh, you're going to have to take some time off. Well, Mark, you're right about one thing. Uh, I am here this morning. Uh, I went to the doctor last night. I had uh, a slight concussion. Uh, he, he told me to take a week off, but I, you know, I didn't. I don't want to do that. I can't afford to do that. But I am here today, and if I see Jeff Gaylord, I'm going to get him, because Gaylord, you cost me. You cost me dearly, because I had my one shot, and I don't know when I'll ever get another world title shot. I'll get one one day, but I don't know what, when. I'm not the Texas champion. I'm not the Southern heavyweight champion. I don't hold any belts. So I don't know when I'll get my next world title shot. But Gaylord, I'm going to get one. But first things first. Gaylord, when I see you, I'm going to get you. Because I, when I hear your name, it just makes me sick to my stomach. Because Gaylord, like I said, I grew up watching wrestling. I grew up watching Jerry Lawler. I grew up watching the world heavyweight champion. And from the day I could walk all the way up, that's all I thought about, was becoming the world heavyweight champion. Yeah, you, Gaylord, come on down here. Well, wait a minute, Skandor Akbar has got Jeff Gaylord. Let, let's not have any of this, please. What, what do you mean, no problem? Your problem is being here. No trouble. All we want to do is talk. We don't want any fighting. We want no trouble. Now, Jared, I don't want any problems. No problems. I don't even want to see you. No problems. No problems. I don't want to Hold see you. It's you, Gaylord. Here's a message. <laughs> Jared, all over, Gaylord, on the floor. Jared, on top of Gaylord, Gaylord. 
getting paybacks for the world mess. Wait a minute, Akbar. Wait a minute, Akbar. Akbar is trying to pull Jared off and is ripping his britches off of him. Akbar interfering in what Jeff was trying to take care of. But Jared is still at it. What a mess. They're fighting all the way up the aisle. Akbar still trying to pull Jeff back by using his britches and all he's done is pull his britches off and Jared is not about to slow down fighting all the way up the aisle and they've disappeared back that way I don't know exactly I guess we better stop and try to get order restored I don't know what's going on Bob oh, oh here comes Jeff Jarrett looks like Jeff has come down and accepted Gaylord's invitation, having to borrow some clothing and shoes, but he can care less. He and Gaylord are into it just like they were on the floor a little bit earlier. When these guys get together and about inside the ring, wherever it may be, it's going to be Katie bar the door. They're in the aisle again. Gaylord and Jared Eddard. Gaylord's a big guy but boy, Jeff Jarrett doesn't give a thing to him. What a mess. There they go. We'll take the camera down that way just as far as they go. Back down into the runway, fighting back around. And they're in it out there in the concession area, still into the walls. Bronco Lovett's trying to get it broken up. 